Hi folks, Larry Wingett here, back with another episode of Ask Larry Anything, the YouTube series where you can ask Larry Wingett anything in the world you'd like to know, and I'd be happy to give you an answer for that, based on my personal opinion and my experience and all the research that I've done. Happy to share that with you. All you have to do is write me at info at LarryWingett.com. Let's get right to the question. I have heard your audio book. It's called Work for a Reason. Thank you for this book. Thank you for listening to that book or reading that book. It's one of my very favorite books. It's called Work for a Reason. And uh, I appreciate that. I'm really proud of that one. Here's the question. I understand that you have to sell in order to be successful, and to sell, you have to ask. I'm not an in-your-face kind of person, so your principle that it's in fact good service to offer a product helps me a lot. Let me tell you what he's talking about there in case you're not familiar with my stuff. I think if you have a product that serves people well and you don't offer it to them, to them, then you are cheating that person of your product as long as that product really serves people. I believe selling is serving. And so it's very natural to say, I have something that could benefit you and I'd love to share it with you. That's serving people well as long as you firmly believe that what you have to offer does offer a valuable service to people. That's what serving is selling really means. Then he says, on the other hand, you state that one should circulate through church and sports and so forth, be nice, and eventually others will ask what you do. I think that's right. It's just part of normal person-to-person -person conversation. Hi, I know you. What do you do for a living? What do you do for a living? Uh, it's just natural. This is happening. Well, good, I'm right but I'm having trouble moving the conversation to the point where I am asking them to buy from me or selling to them. Do you have any advice on how to move from small talk to here is my number if you need my service? Well, I don't understand what the problem is. If you're talking to somebody, and let's just say, for instance, you're a plumber, and, uh, and you meet them and they say, what do you do for a living? You said, I'm a plumber. Uh, everybody needs a plumber from time to time. If you ever need a plumber, I'll guarantee you I'll do a good job for you. Here's a card with my number on it. That's really pretty simple, and it's not much more complicated than that. You know, when people say, what do you do for a living, Larry? I say, well, I write books. You read books, don't you? You ought to read one of my books. Or I speak professionally. And sometimes they will say, well, you know, we hire a lot of speakers. Well, then you ought to hire me. And then I laugh. I don't put a hard pressure sell on people. That's not my style either. I don't like that. I'm not bashful about what I do because I believe that what I do actually offers a service to people. You have to believe the very same thing. When people naturally say, what do you do for a living? You say, this is what I do for a living. If you ever have a need for someone who does what I do, then call me. Give them a card or just say, would you like to have a card? If you don't, no big deal. And if they say, sure, give me your card, then give it to them. It's not a big deal. Don't complicate this. Don't feel like you're pressuring somebody unless you're saying, this is what I have to sell. I want you to buy this right now. Pull out your checkbook or your credit card. I happen to have a square, and I'll swipe your card right now. And that's pressure, and that's stupid, and that's silly. Don't do that. You're just talking about having a normal, natural conversation with people. Don't be ashamed to offer them what you do for a living. Everybody does it. All right, folks, that's it. A uh, simple question this week on how to sell based on personal contact with people. Some people call it networking. I call it talking. All right, thanks so much. And remember, if you have a question, info at LarryWingett.com.